Rick and Dave's Comic Book Hour brings out the hero in us. Hey, welcome to Rick and Dave's Comic Book Hour. I'm Dave. And I'm Rick. And in this issue, we are going to talk a little bit about uh, Comic Con I recently went to, uh, Steel City Con down in uh, the Pittsburgh, uh, Pennsylvania area in Monroeville. And uh, so I just uh, kind of jump right in it. I went with uh, a friend of mine, Gary, and uh, he got an autograph of Burt Reynolds. And there's other uh, movie stars and whatnot down there, so I got my picture taken with Mick Foley. So you can't get too many of those. That's a big surprise. Yeah. <laughs> you and Mick Foley. Yeah, I, I, I like Mick Foley. It's like the third time I've met the guy at Collins. So. On Saturday, it cost $35. And uh, so it was a pretty it was pretty crowded on a Saturday. Typically, Gary and I go on Sundays, and it's a little bit more manageable and not quite so crowded. And, Ten, almost ten years ago when we started going, and it was like six seventy-five or six bucks or something like that. So it's the show has grown, and I think they switched owners somewhere along the line. And uh, so since they've done that, the media guests that they've gotten by like Burt Reynolds they would have never gotten in before. Right. And so um, next time it's supposed to be John Cusack. Um, so they usually have like one superstar and a bunch of other. Eventually, yeah. they're going to have us there to see this <laughs> right. yeah, That's your thing. Well, it's a toy. Anyway, it's very cute comic book. Yeah, this time it, there was maybe, I think, maybe eight to ten comic book dealers there, strictly comic book dealers. Um, mostly it's toys and, and uh, a lot of other odd stuff. I mean, I've got, my, I've got a caricature done by a caricature artist that's been there several times. Oh. And uh, so, yeah, I'm adding my vanity wall to all the characters. That's going to take your picture and your album now. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, so that's always fun. To do, so. um, but yeah, they had a lot of cosplay going on here. So let's get to why you what really wants to stay Yes, I didn't get a whole lot of comic books this time, but I did get, I got about eight or nine here. So um, it stuck pretty much to my list of books. So the first one I got was uh, Captain America. 185. Um, then I got uh, Amazing Spider-Man 113 and Amazing Spider-Man 130 and Amazing Spider-Man 132 and Amazing Spider-Man 136. So with 136, that gives you what? Now what is your love Amazing Spider-Man? Okay, that, that adds one more to the solid run of 136 all the way to the end of the run at 700, or the consecutive numbering until they start screwing up. So they bring it back in. Yeah, and then they're going to bring it back here in a few months at 760 something. Or I mean, it's still your current, I mean, it brings some current, no matter what numbering system you're going by, Spider Man. Yeah. He's current. I mean, he's got everything. He's got the new run, uh, whatever you want to call it. But anyway, that comic did get him to 136, all the way solid. Solid. That's, so that's a nice run. The other copies he got, 113, 130, would we say 132? Mm -hmm. that's, getting, that's getting close to getting what he yeah, wants. So I got a, this one's missing the uh, Marvel value stamp in it. So it was uh, marked down to five bucks. But otherwise, that's a really, really nice book. And so the good thing about 136, I guess, is the first Harry Osborn, uh, Great Osborn. That's, that's, right. that's his first appearance. That's yeah, right. That's great. I Marvel. mean, through the one thirties, you can see him going crazy and turning, you know, with all the drugs and stuff. But that's not a story. But if you read it solid, you'll see the transformation that Harry goes through before he becomes the next Green Goblin to take over from his father. Who at this time is dead. <laughs> all right, right now, isn't it? Isn't it? Right here, he's dead. He's, no, yeah, he's not back to life yet. He's dead. He hasn't come back to life. And uh, one thirty has a hammerhead in it. Oh yeah, boom! It has also a spider mobile. And Spider Mobile. Ah, boom, that first one. That first one. Yeah. Well, yeah, one slammed it. 113 has, it says here, the first appearance of Hammerhead, so I guess I got a couple of issues of Hammerhead in it. And, and it also has, has Doc Ock in that. Yeah. It's, uh, I believe Doc Ock is still hanging with Aunt May. Yeah, because yeah. the next is all in 113. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. But anyway, I mean, it, it was a, I mean, as you know, as there's a time there where Doc Ock and Aunt May kind of 
Okay. Oh, I don't know if they walk in and they hooked up, but. Or are they you know, dating or something? Yeah, well, I mean, Doc Cock was staying at her house for a while. I don't know if he's still a porter. But anyway, that, anyway, you got to read stuff. They're not going to tell you everything that happened. I mean, I've read this a long time ago. So, uh, go to my memory. And then uh, Captain America 185. Now, that was all from one dealer. And uh, so, and uh, Jacob, he always uh, gives me a good deal on stuff. So, that was like 20% off all those books. So, and uh, so then I'm rooting around other places. I found a Peter Parker's Spectacular Spider Man number one. That is good. So I thought I already had it, but how much? I mean, you got that. Yeah, I got it for 10 bucks. This is a little beat up on the top, down the bottom here. But, yeah, 10 bucks. Yeah. Uh, I think I got mine for 30 cents. But, yeah. Yeah. Some of us were around. But yeah, so. But anyway, it's a good copy. And, I've seen this thing, you know, being asked for 60 bucks. So what about the ratio? Yeah, I, uh, there was another copy in the box that was for 30, but I was kind of watching my pennies, so I wanted to get a decent copy, but I didn't need it. You can only put it off later if you can. But so what's next on the agenda? That's what's okay. Did you read this one yet? No, I haven't. Okay, go ahead. What's well, next? I'm also very close to completing this run also. Oh, so you are? That's right, you are. So I need like number 6 and 28. and. Three or four issues towards the end, of two thirty something. Um, then I got some Defender issues. Yes. So I got number fifty-three. It's one of those things you started picking up, and we don't know why. Yeah. And, and number twenty-three, a number or number fifty-three. Sorry, that's number fifty-three. I'm reading number twenty-three and number twenty-two. So I got ways to collect all the Defenders yet, but. But it's one of those things that we pick up. The price is right. Yeah, so, yeah. If you can find them for for dollar to four dollars on most of them, and find a decent copy. Of so I haven't paid a whole lot for any one of the books. Even number one, I got for like three bucks, and it's pretty good shape. That's so. right. So yeah, just keep, keep yeah. There's something in the, for the Bronze Age that you can pick up. For a very, no, very good price. And it's a fun read, too. It yeah. is. It's a theme book, and you know, like the Hulk, type of string. And, and, and they use some other Valkyrie, characters yeah. that weren't hard to use very much. And so it's fun read. Yeah, and some make an appearance that you don't know, always see. You know, plus, Nighthawk is part of the team, mm -hmm. and a few others. But, so, that I means even though you didn't buy a lot, you still got a good quality of books there for your collection. So, that's what I got at the Pittsburgh show. Better known as Steel City. Yeah, Steel City. And it's one of those shows where it's a one day trip for you, or whatever. When I go home to it's a one day trip. We get there yeah. early in the morning, leave around 2 o'clock, or yeah, how long it's carried to get to the dinner to take off. Yeah, so yeah, we were there for about four hours. And so, yeah, it's a one day, long day, kind of run down there from where we live. It's about a long day for a one day trip to Detroit, I tell you that. Oh, Detroit is a different end. That's, that's well, Pittsburgh from here is a little over two hours to get there on a, on a good day, so. Well, it's about like four. Mm -hmm. Detroit, Detroit's at four hours? Oh, yeah, that's a four hour drive from where we live. Yeah. Plus, like Gary said, the line is pretty long this time, too. You got to wait outside by the... Yeah, yeah, we got there early and we still had to wait outside for a half hour, but um, we did get there early enough to do that. But um, also with the autograph taking me, Spartaned up and gave you, uh, you went and picked a number, forgot a number, and then they called your number so you didn't have to stand in line forever waiting on their print old autographs. So yeah. that was kind of nice. So that way they call numbers 50 through 100, you go up, get your autograph, and so on and so forth. So that way you didn't have to stand in line for it. Yeah. So anyway, that's the uh, long and short of that. So thanks for watching. We'll talk at you later. Good day. I don't always watch Rick and Dave's comic book hour, but when I do, I drink whiskey.